talk about the types of support, uh, the uh, services that are available to our students? We built all of our programming through the through a wellness lens. My background, I'm a clinical social worker. I was a mental health provider for 15 years. Um, and I know the importance of holistic support for students so they can thrive and they can become the physicians they want to. Um, so we are collaborative by nature. So in terms of services we provide, we do uh, employ a full-time mental health counselor who keeps very flexible hours to be able to meet the needs of our students. I'll just tell you something like schedule-wise. Between the hours of 12 and 1 on campus, there are no classes. So our Office of Student Affairs, Dr. Zellner, we make sure we leave ourselves available, door open, so that if the student is like, you know what, let me run down and see if Dr. Evans is available, we are there for them to just stop in. Our faculty are part of the support system as well, which is also brilliant. And I, as an employee, it's really nice to be part of because they are as invested in student wellness, student development, as they are in how students are scoring on their NBME exams. Um, so I think that's really important as well. We also structure all of our events thinking about what is it that students need to thrive. So we do some smaller mindfulness events where we just had an event where students were walking in and they could see different stretches they could do at their desk. And as a medical student, you're sitting down a lot. So we want to make sure that we're helping in those small moments where can you find time to move your body or to stretch. Um, I think another thing that's really important is because we take this holistic approach and we're not siloed at all, Students feel comfortable to go to student affairs if they have a concern. If for some reason we're all with somebody, they'll walk into our campus dean's office and say, hey, Dr. Welke, do you have a minute? I want to talk to you about something. So there doesn't seem to be a barrier where students don't feel like they can go to a colleague, a faculty member to find that the support that they need. Similar to what um, Jennifer was talking about, our student affairs team also has a on-call phone so we understand that a transition to a new country for many students is there's a learning curve. So we make ourselves available 24 seven if students need to get in contact with somebody from Wassum. Uh, we use WhatsApp. So we encourage students to download WhatsApp because that's primarily what people use down here in the Bahamas to communicate. Um, so we really try to make our, ourselves available as much as possible. I think one of the best, one of my most exciting parts is the collaboration with our Center for Academic Success when it comes to academic coaching, advising, and how we wrap services around students. One of the things that we do in terms of, as Dr. Robert said, we collaborate a lot about this, is we have um, what we call student support conferences. So we have students who can meet with both myself and then a member of the student affairs team so that we can talk about not only what things are happening academically, but what things might also be happening in your lives outside of medical school, because those still happen, even though you are a medical student, so that we can offer support services holistically in that way, rather than me focusing solely on academics and completely possibly excluding the fact that maybe you're not sleeping that well. And so are there services we can help to get you to help manage some of those things? We, we like to collaborate in that way so we can make sure that we're treating you as a whole person and looking at you holistically rather than segregating or siloing in that way. I think we are so lucky that we have a model with career advising that starts first week of first semester. Um, Danielle McDonald is well-versed, well-experienced with guiding students through the match process, and we start it right away. So it's not something where, okay, get through basic sciences, and then when you're in your third year, let's start thinking about what you want to do. Uh, we understand that this is a, a, I always say it's a lifestyle. It's not a career choice to be a physician. So we have created programming where students can start exploring what is important to them, what their value system is. So they know what is it that I'm thinking about that I want to go into in terms of the specialty and also the how to get there, which is really important. And going back to the collaboration, as we collaborate with our Center for Academic Success and Faculty, it helps to inform what type of specialties a student may do really well in, what type of specialties might be a little bit of a reach. So it's an ongoing assessment process, which I think is really helpful. Mm -hmm.